we're on. All right. That's our intro music. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. That's my alarm to Dan say and hey. Anyas, Dan and Anya's back again. Uh, yeah, and we've got that's our intro song. I hope you guys like that. We, we spent a lot of money, by the way, putting time and effort into that music, that production. Anyway, so we're doing a, a wonderful topic today that I'm going to let Anya's talk about it first. But to her credit, this woman, you, you guys do not realize the gem that we have before us. This giant lump of coal that compressed down to a diamond that we call Agnes. Anyway, <laughs> took 30 minutes of Neville Goddard, 30 minutes of Neville Goddard, 30 minutes, and turned it into a minute and a half. How do you do that? <laughs> anyway, Agnes, tell us, what are we talking about today? <laughs> well, we are going to dissect today Sammy's question. Now, Sammy's question was one of the very first Neville things that I used to dissect to then apply to all the things that were going wrong in my life. And it was a really good template. So for those people that haven't listened to Sammy's question, Dan and I will put it in the description of our YouTube so you can listen to the whole 30 minute thing. But for today, I'm going to read the little nugget that's within this and we're going to discuss this and we're going to apply it to relationships and specific people and exes. And it and was a minute, a minute and a half. Set your yeah. watches, people. I dare you. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> you can time it. Shoot. Okay. So it goes like this. Neville is actually talking to a guy that's at one of his lectures to give you a bit of background. So he says, and the guy is saying to Neville, I've been doing everything you say, but I'm still not manifesting. And he was talking about money, but we're going to apply it to the subject of relationships. If you're not getting what you want, there is something you haven't understood. When I speak of feeling, I do not mean emotion, but I accept the acceptance of the fact that the desire is fulfilled. And you can think that you did that, but you can know for sure if you haven't achieved your goal, you don't have acceptance. The reason you don't have acceptance is because you're still thinking of it and rather than thinking from the goal. That is all there is to it. And if you're thinking of the goal rather than from the goal, you can do that for 10 years and nothing will happen. But the instant you think from your, from, your world will change. All cause is spiritual. If your world is not the way you want it, there is some imaginal act in your mind that is keeping the unwanted experience alive. So what do you want to say about that, Dan? Well, I've, that's actually one, just again, <laughs> I'm impressed. Very, very, very <laughs> impressive. Because I watched that 30-minute video more than once, uh, more than twice even. And yeah. uh, it, is, um, it is impressive. Now, the one... Question, and I guess we, I, I, I'm hoping now's the time to bring this up, so I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> Go ahead. That's how we're playing this. Um, uh, when we experience doubt, I think this is a question, because I always like to think of like, what, what would people in, in that watch us, you know, think about or What would be the questions yep. that we would think they would ask? And it would be, so I've done this wonderful of the goal instead of from the goal, right? I do yep. this great work. I get myself to that awesome feeling, right? That knowing that the creators within me, all these wonderful things that I know to be true, especially if I've studied Neville in any sort of way, shape or form. Yeah. What happens during the day when I experience doubt? What do I do mm. to, you know, do I just yeah. like prune my thoughts? Like he would say, right. Do I do his pruning technique or whatever and, 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 and handle it that way and I'm good. Or do I do more imagining work? I mean, again, I can see all the different questions that people would mm. come from. So of course, I'm yeah. curious what the diamond has to say on this. Okay. Doubt, well, AKA Anya. <laughs> doubt during the day because we're human is going to happen. But what happens is, is you're sliding back into thinking of right. right. Over time, you kind of go back to defaulting your old way of thinking. So you're going from thinking of, and we're going to use the relationship as an, as an example. Ooh, I you, have an idea. We could talk about specific people. Yep. No one Gee, ever does new. that. No one ever does that. <laughs> no, it's going to be first ever. Oh, anyway. We've never talked about that. That no. should be a good topic. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no one will even, we'll like probably have, hardly have any viewers. I know. I know it sucks, but I think we should do it anyway, just for the sake of it. Anyway. Uh, 
Oh I interrupt God. always. Okay. So, doubts during the day. Thoughts during the day. So you slide back into your doubt and then you're in of it. You're thinking of it because when, as soon as your doubt kicks in, you start feeling the negative emotion of it because doubt's not a positive thing. It makes you feel not good in the gut. He specifically so, says the devil, by the way. And yeah, he calls it devil kinda, or the which, Satan. He talks which, about that. Which kind of I, know, I like, went, oh, wow. okay. I know you, yeah. you pull back and you're like, all right. So anyway, but yeah, no, I think it's kind of, for the time, you know, it was the 50s or whatever. That exactly. Was, uh, that was the time. Or yeah. yeah. And what's um, great is it's 2017 now and we can yeah. actually package it in 2017 we actually know what's now <laughs> yeah, we, know it <laughs> we are sure we've done scientific studies no i'm totally kidding we i just made that up people i swear i've just made that up that is not true we do not know i've totally forgotten your question so when i was asking about in, doubt during the day it? it creeps in and you talk about yeah. how we're backsliding down towards the um the uh, yep. the doubt of cycle is not uh, being of the goal instead of from the goal yeah and you were basically going to share with us how to turn that back around or, okay as gloria yeah. stefan would say turn the beat around <laughs> you want to start singing that now turn the beat around <laughs> yeah no anyway that's, yeah, that good. we don't want to torment people anyway you don't have, I'm, to, you, you don't have to worry about copyright because it was only no like a, yeah. under three seconds <laughs> <laughs> exactly and not good so we're okay we're okay, okay. Yes. so you've got a doubt happening about your specific person like oh um, does he really want to be with me? I think he's just using me for sex. Cause I hear this one a lot. Yeah. He, he's just here to hook up or she's just here to hook up. I hear that a lot in emails. Friends with benefits, right? What? Yeah. What do I do? So you having this doubt and you start sliding into of-ness, which is he's just wanting me for sex. She's just wanting me for sex. I don't think they really love me. I don't think she really loves me. And you stay in that state. So now you're locked into, as Neville calls it, the old man, which is the old state. So to get yourself out of there, you have to change this because that's where it starts. You have a thought here and then it generates a feeling in your stomach and in your heart and you start to feel awful. So to fix it, you got to reverse engineer and start back up here and you got to go bad feeling. I got to get back up here and I got to change my thought. What kind of thought would somebody who really believes and living from it, what would they be thinking? I love my specific person and I know they love me. I know we're connected. I know that we are getting closer and closer. I know we understand each other. So you get right out of I'm being used. I'm being used for sex. I'm just a hookup. I'm just a friend with right. benefits because that's all your projection, which is the old stuff, which is stuff you've done for years, yeah. which is why you've been reliving it for years and years and years. So you've got to just stop doing that. It's yeah. It's all about, and that's what I've been trying to really just hone home lately. Yeah. At least from my side of it is a lot of what we're talking about. Truly, truly the nuts and bolts. If we want to break it down in the two simplest forms is one controlling thoughts and yep. two is controlling your feelings, how your feelings yes. and those work together. These two yes. are constantly yes. firing together. And when we let this one shoot us off into one direction that sucks, then we don't, we don't, yep. you know, that we, we just screw our entire energy yeah. up, which spirals it down. And that's what you mean by the sliding thing to use that. It it's slides. exactly yeah. what it is. And yeah. the way to turn it back around is the opposite of what we did to get ourselves exactly. to that bad place. So it's, and you've got to, you got to create the habits of someone who has a loving relationship. Someone who has a loving relationship with themselves does not have those kind of thoughts. Someone that has a loving relationship with someone else does not activate that version of them. Because There's no reason to think do. about it. That's no, not a concern. That's don't. not a fear. No. And that's usually what it comes yeah. down to is I'm afraid they're going to do or yeah. someone else yeah. did something to me 12 years ago and I'm yeah. afraid it's going to happen again. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's, that's yeah. how you keep that activated, like you said. And, and exactly, yeah. that's how we keep ourselves from these, where we were when we started this imaginal work earlier in the day when the doubts crept in. Yeah. But see, this is the thing. You've got to have acceptance. And this is what Neville is talking about in this reading. When he's speaking of feeling, he doesn't mean emotion, but acceptance of the fact that the desire is fulfilled. That's living from the end result. And you've got to carry that living from the end result. My wish is fulfilled. Every time you get the doubt, you, say, you breathe in, you breathe out. You say, I surrender my doubt. 
I'm going to live in the wish fulfilled. And you just make a decision to turn right instead of turning left and taking the doubt horse all the way to bloody whoop whoop, which is what we say in Australia. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I've, I've been there, you know, <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop. It's, yeah. So I, and I just recently did a show kind of on the same topic where you, Going, yeah, I, I lost the lost the train of thought where we were going with that. <laughs> a whoop, we whoop, went whoop. to whoop whoop. <laughs> I love it. You lost me a it's whoop taking, whoop. You know, it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dan. We, yeah. It's just not going left because we just keep going left. He's seeing somebody else. She's, um, oh. I'm second best because he doesn't give me attention. She's not making plans with me, or she keeps um, the common one I hear. She makes plans, but then she keeps canceling. So you've got this thing of, I'm going to be let down. 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 Photocopy, photocopy, copy, cancel. I'm going to cancel. I'm going to cancel. That's how it works. It's not them canceling on you. You canceled out on you well before they made the phone call or well before they didn't ring you or well before they didn't show up. It's you. It's you. It's you. I keep saying it's you. It's you. It's you. But people keep thinking it's them. It's them. It's them. And what keeps happening when these people have these conversations internally amongst themselves, if you will, is, is they're imagining the person and having the conversation with the person. So it becomes an imaginal act when a lot of us are having this you know, yep. little discussion in our head with them when we're mad and we start spinning these things down the wrong track. That's yep. exactly what we're doing is we're using Neville Goddard's technique to create a bad reality. Yep. And yeah. that's all you're doing. So the way to get back, yeah. and this is what I was forgetting to talk about, but the other thing that Neville talks about is it's the creator within us. And it's when we accept that the imaginal work is doing the yes. creation. And yeah. once you have imagined as if you were there or from that reality or whatever, you know, from that place, mm. it becomes so real. You feel it, you smell it, you taste it. And yeah. when it's that real internally, yeah. it is real externally it hasn't yes. manifested yet because 3d uh, world is slow yeah but it is in progress and the problem is is when during the day we doubt it and start going down a different path then we actually start to go opposite of what we just manifested in the yep. morning right yep. or at night or at night you exactly know? exactly and like you said once you know you've launched it you've you've got to practice acceptance now the way you get good at acceptance is if you've done it once and it's manifested something you get more confidence but you've got to manifest that first one first to get that confidence and then the second one the third and then you know every time i launch something and i just go i accept and surrender that this is done and you just state it to yourself and you just go i let it go i'll imagine it again tonight when i go to bed or I might leave it for a couple of days and I'll imagine it again. But you have to practice acceptance. It's not just you get acceptance. It's a skill like surrender. These are the things that are more challenging skills, acceptance and surrender because they're inactivity. Right. right. People find the doing stuff easier than the inactivity. Allowing acceptance and surrender are the three silent triplets that people have trouble with. But these are the keys that open the master door. And that's really the thing as we've talked about before is really once you do the asking, the, the imagining, the feeling you're from that location and really a lot of times if it's so real and then you literally just kind of forget about it. Yeah. You know, it may not happen. It may, it takes as long as it does, but it's just amazing how a lot of times it's the doubt processes that all of us experience from time to time. Some of us more than others, but It's dealing with that. It's catching that quickly. It's looking at it and going, okay, whoa, you know, like Mm. let's, let's prune the thoughts as right. Isn't that a technique that uh, Goddard talks about where you, you know, help kind of shift your thoughts during the day. Cause again, it's what we're thinking during the day and you know, what we're feeling, right. Again, these these two things need to need to work together. And if, if you're thinking something that's not feeling good, you're not helping your manifestation at all. That's exactly right. And, you know, maybe we can do a show at some point about the pruning shears of revision because that is a really big subject all on its own, how you do that. So we'll, we'll earmark that as that's, it to be like continued. That. Maybe next one, yeah. Because the fact that you brought that up, I mean, I think that's, you know, a fantastic Neville Goddard thing that he talks about. But, yeah, this whole thing of realising that, you know, as he says – and this was the last part of what I wrote down. All cause is spiritual. 
if your world is not the way you want it, there's some imaginal act in your mind that's keeping the unwanted experience alive. So this is what you're talking about is we've got to watch that stuff and stop keeping it alive. Whatever the unwanted is, a third party, my person's absence, my person's married to someone and I'd like to be with them, but I don't want to interfere. All these things are kept alive in us through some imaginal act of ours. Perfect example of how this plays out in the real world. You'll love this because you hear about it all the time too. But it's like, we've got this, this fear going inside of us, right? What's he doing? I don't think he's, I think he's cheating on me. I think, right? So that's our yeah. fear. And then all of a sudden you're like, I'm going to check Facebook, right? You get yeah. that crazy inkling. You're like, oh, I know this is a great idea. Yeah. You, you open it up and there's a picture of him and some girl. And instantly, you know, it's exactly what you were asking for, even though it might yeah. be a sister, who knows, doesn't yeah. matter. You know, but yeah. there, boom. And there's your wish fulfilled. There's, there's your, your wish fulfilled. There's exactly what you've been giving energy mm. to. And you felt the perfect timing because, again, our higher selves, at least the crazy stuff I say, love to get us connected with what we're trying to accomplish. Yep. So you're talking about, you know, having this uh, cheating guy in your life. Well, there you go. There you yep. got it. And yeah. so, yeah, I think people forget that it plays out because of us. If we look at yep. how this whole Neville Goddard thing works out, when we do it in a negative fashion, it, mm. it, it works negatively also. <laughs> yeah. And, and that thing of seed time in the harvest, which oh, talks that part about. was beautiful. That was yeah, awesome. You forget That's... you've planted seeds and then you get an unsavory harvest and you go, well, I didn't plant that. And it's like, right. well, yeah, you did. You just don't remember what you planted because it was yep. six months ago or eight months ago, but you, you were planting. Well, that reminds me, by the way, and that's why I thought you were going, but that's even better that you went there first. The part where you talked about, was it the walnut seed? What was the other seed that they mentioned of, you know, it's almost like the, to me, it reminded me of the faith of the mustard seed, but he talked oh, about yeah. in, in your reading, uh, in the, in Sammy's question, he talks about, uh, the, the seed becoming the tree and not worrying about the how, right? Wasn't yes. that all a part of that? And I thought that was a brilliant, like mm. you could almost do a whole another video on that yep. on itself, but don't yeah. worry about the how. And I think so many of us get bogged yeah. down in that. Well, how can this happen? I don't know if that yeah. can happen. He's with a girlfriend right now. He yeah. just got a new girlfriend. Like how many times yeah. have you heard that one before? Yeah. So in their minds are worried about the how. The how can't happen because he's currently yeah. got a girlfriend. So I, Yeah, but I, the uh, thing is, it's like nothing set in stone. Right. So, you know, I get quite a few success stories where people – through their jealousy, through their fear of loss, through their fear of betrayal and all this stuff, their pers person went away and then they get on YouTube, they find, you know, me, they find you, they find other law of attraction people, they start doing the work, then they go through a period of not contact. They, they go through usually a period of over contacting, right. then they learn stuff, they stop contacting, they stop over contacting and then when they do contact, if they do it at all, they do it from a self-loving place. And then they do more and more and more work about giving rather than trying to get. And then the person who's might be off with somebody else by now starts to slowly, you see, make their way back because you've changed you yep. and you're giving love to them rather than trying to suck love out of them and then becoming your oxygen tank. And you you've learned feel, the difference. You feel similar to how you did when you first met or whatever. It gets yeah. back to that, that wonderful yeah. place. Yes. That healthy, healthy love. That healthy love where you are giving and not just trying to get for yourself and you are allowing rather than trying to force and manipulate. So you learn so much about what you do that actually repels people. And then you learn how to do the opposite, which attracts people. And it's a science. Right. And well, I keep talking about it and you bring it up and it's like, you know, it's a lot of Neville Goddard stuff, but thought transmissions, man. Every time you yeah. start thinking anything about anybody, I mean, the way I kind of phrase it too, is you, you create a thought bridge instantly, boom, between you and I, you know, right yeah. now there's a thought bridge. You and I are, you know, connected in a very cool way. But the second you think of someone and then all yeah. your feelings start bouncing to them. Yeah. Yeah. And they may not consciously get whatever. It doesn't matter. That's yeah. the energy you're sending. If And yeah. so- if you're truly interested in making a difference and getting someone back to you, having anger, resentment, frustration, like all these feelings that yeah. suck. Like if the guy's already gotten away or the girl's already gotten away, it's like, if you're not feeling good to get back to, why would I want to? Exactly. So, so the, the journey is never between you and a specific someone or you and an ex or whatever. It's between you 
and your emotions. Yeah, it's, that's the that's us pushed the out journey. to me in a huge, yes, yeah. and it's learning, to, again, thoughts and feelings, man. It's yeah. just, a, it is such yeah. an amazing Yeah, because journey. you're emotionally really unattractive when you're yep. in longing, neediness, anger, resentment. Yes. You owe me, you said you would do punishing, blame, all that stuff. You're extremely unemotionally unattractive. So people go, eh, don't want to yeah. be you. Yeah. As soon as you stop or you clear out all that stuff, because you do need to clear it out once, you know, it takes time. And then eventually you realize it was all your creation anyway. So the forgiveness isn't about them. It's about you. And then you go, okay, well, I didn't know any better. So now I know better. I can do better. And then you start to have a fresh slate to work from. That's exactly what I just talked about in my video I released today, this morning was yeah. uh, uh, the, the forgiving. Uh, and and yeah. it's all about forgiving ourselves. I said, it doesn't matter if they say sorry. And I even said that in another show. Like, mm. does does saying sorry really matter? Does it change yeah. anything? If I say I'm yeah. sorry, it's like, it still happened, right? It still so happened. The forgiveness yeah. is for yeah. us, man. It doesn't matter yeah. what, where they're at with it. It's how we can go on yep. and feel one of yep. the pumps, right? How we can feel better. Yeah. And if we're feeling better, then things are definitely going mm. in the right direction. It's just a good gauge, right? Wouldn't you it think is. like, if you're feeling pretty good, then your thoughts are probably pretty good. If your yeah. thoughts are pretty good, you're probably feeling pretty good. But either way, like look at either one of them <laughs> and you're yeah. probably, you can gauge how you're doing right now. It's like you're a tachometer in a car, right? Your RPMs, yeah. right? Your or, RPMs. Or yeah, RPKs yeah. or whatever they are, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. And, and, and if you want to accelerate to get the RPMs up, you do self-love, yeah. imaginal Boom. scenes. Yes. You do lots of meditation. You go Now your running. engine's got more power. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes actually I think Dan, we'll put we'll put that youtube you mentioned of yours in the description too so people can have a look at that okay cool cool yeah nice, nice. I, li I like to tack everything that we've talked about in the description so people don't have to look for it so we did talk about the one question i think i just have one last question that we probably can hopefully cover i know we're maybe a little long but whatever um no it it's does, okay you did mention in the 30 minute uh sammy's video one one question i had that i thought was yeah. kind of interesting is you talk about uh and and please phrase it correctly, but it was to the sense of where we kind of use this imagining morning, noon, and night, I think, right? All yes. day long or whatever. Um, yeah. So does that like, is it the, what does that mean? Kind of help me understand that. Cause okay. I guess initially I thought it felt more like it was like, should I be imagining the same things all day long yeah, all or, day long. or do I, I don't know. I, and uh, so, yeah. What do you think? Okay. You talk Good to point. Mm. So, Obviously, when you're trying to go to work, have a shower, do your dishes, cook your food, do your food shopping, you can't be imagining. It's just not going to happen. It's too much going on. So what you do is, obviously, when you're at work, you need to concentrate. So we'll eliminate that. When you're at sleep, asleep, you're asleep. So you eliminate that. But what's left in time in your 24-hour day, you do your imaginal scene at night, implying the end result that you want. Let's, say, let's use example, specific person. You're laying in bed together. You're naked. You're feeling warm and close and secure and mm, 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 happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was that? Oh, my. Sorry. I got carried away with a moment there for a second. Sorry about that. That was good timing. Very good timing. <laughs> I was so, almost done too. Oh okay. my Lord. Oh We're going to rewind. You're back yeah. in bed. Yeah. Bam, you're, mm -hmm, you're cozy. Yeah. You're under your white doo your duvet or your <laughs> quilt, whatever country you live in. You've got yes. a million different words for the same thing. <laughs> comforter. So you're in comforter. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, so you're in there and you're all cozy and you're imagining the, the smell of her or her hair down her back. You can see the color. You can smell her deodorant or whatever perfume she wears and you, as the female, can feel the five o'clock shadow. You can feel the little hairs on his chest on your back. You can feel that just, you know, that masculine shape that's different to the female shape, of course. Mm. And look, and you can do this if you're gay, if you're straight, it makes no difference. Imagine the other person's qualities. So once you do that, you go to sleep and you fall asleep in that state. The next morning you get up, you're getting ready for work. So before you get up, you close your eyes for about three minutes and you go, hmm, and you just flash in that scene, being in bed, the warmth, the smell, the closest, the security, the affection, you lock it in. You get out of bed, you feel good about that. You take the aroma of it, the feeling of it, so that's where you're living from it. You go and put the kettle on. You stand there, you're waiting for the kettle to boil. You shut your eyes for a minute. 
and you just go, ah, oh, I love that connectedness. I love that feeling of closeness. Beep, the kettle starts, pour your cup of tea, da, da, da. You have your cup of tea, you're having your breakfast. You carry that with you. Oh, I love thinking about that. I love them sitting next to me and having breakfast with me in the morning. So you just have a little one minute thing here and there. In the meantime, you're reading the newspaper, hop in the shower. Same thing. You carry little snippets of it with you. If you're driving to work or you're on public transport, catching a bus or a train, you can easily, obviously not if you're driving your own car, shut your eyes and do a little bit more. Then you're on your lunch break. You go and sit somewhere outside and you enjoy nature. You shut your eyes for a few minutes. You might be with people that lunch hour. You don't do it on that lunch hour. You might do it the next day when you're on your own. So you fit in little kind of two minutes, one minute, three minutes, four minutes. At the end of a week, that's two hours. And a couple of things that I think are important to point out too at this point, which I love, I love how you describe that. It's really, really awesome. Is, is one, using all of your... Uh, free time. If you're truly yep. interested in making a difference in your manifestation or the timing of it or whatever the mm. case is, and you're going to be focused on these things, using your time to imagine, because that's what your free time is, is your free thought time is free time to imagine things. Yep. And imagine is creation. And on top of that, which I also liked, is you had slightly different variants of where you were in the day with your significant person. Yeah. And so it's not the same imagery no. over and over and over. It's no. a mixture of what it would be like in real life, a real day yep. when we're together. So living in the end from that standpoint as well is yep. it's not just that same image like, oh, we're together. Cause that really doesn't mean a whole lot. What is to go? Well, and that's not that how are... relationships are. Like, right. If I see when I was doing my imaginal scene at night, I would always do the same scene over and over and over at night. Right. I would do that laying in bed together. But the bed doing... thing, that's awesome because that's sleeping yeah. together. That's like what and you would do during already. that time of day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you're that's, in bed. So it makes sense. You've perfect. already got the bed yeah. underneath you. You've got the pillow underneath and you. And that's a freaking awesome way to fall asleep. Hello. Yeah, you know, like it is. you can't even imagine, right? You're actually yeah. with your person. That's like, yeah. how, can that not, how can that not be any better than, than anything exactly. else? Exactly, so. exactly. So that one was seen relevant. You're in the bed, yeah. you're out to sleep. So let's imagine that because I'm in the bed anyway. So that one was relevant. But throughout the day, I would daydream about, oh, I'd love to walk down the street. Like I'd be walking down the street while I was on my lunch break. Right. And I'd think, oh, I'd love to walk down this street with him. And I'd just pretend we were holding hands. And then I'd Or how fun it go, would be to go to that cafe that yeah, you just walked by together. Yeah. Like that was or such a great place. And, yes, yeah. exactly. Or yeah. she loves that color yes. of t-shirt that you just see in the window or whatever right. you know certain things about your person so you right. pull from what you see certain things will come into the foreground she loves the color green or he loves that blue now, and, and now and to go back to the color. funny part right with yeah. all these thoughts what's probably happening with your feelings when you're doing all this work during the day what are you probably yes you're feeling awesome and that dan is living from it there yes it and is. and just to throw the other aspect to it you don't have time to doubt. You don't yeah, no. have time. You're busy imagining what you'd like to experience exactly. rather than freaking out about what you yeah. don't want to experience. And it's exactly. a, a different. That's how you do it. That is Anya's just yeah. perfectly demonstrated a day in the life if you're actually mm. serious about making a difference and trying to manifest something. That's it. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's I'll how you do it. Live and that's it. the mechanics of, because we all have things we have to do. Some people have kids. Some people have more than one job. Some people commute long distances. Other people have pets they have to look after. Other people have parents they have that are elderly. So there's lots of things that have to fill people's day. So obviously when you're doing that, you focus. You don't zone out and think about right. all this stuff all day. Um, focus on what you're doing. And then when you have idle moments, you use them properly. That's right. And yes, yes, you don't misuse them because whatever yeah. we focus our attention on, our thoughts, our feelings, right? Whatever you start thinking about, you're yeah. putting more feeling towards that. And is it a good thing or a bad yeah. thing? And Ella Way would say, is it upstream or is it downstream? Yeah. Neville Goddard would say, you're creating, you're imagining. Like yeah. but the nobody thing is, Dan, says it's good if it's bad. Right? It's yeah, yeah. the thing when you're actually doing that imaginal process, you don't go, oh, I have to feel good about this. I've got to pump up my feeling. Right. The feeling happens yeah. as a chemical reaction. Yes. It yes. just happens. Good Very good point. So it's like, I remember when I was feeling really, really bad. Like we're talking minus one out of 10. Everything, the wheels fell off everything. And I'm not going to go over it again because we've talked about it right. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was minus one out of 10. 
I couldn't even imagine anything. I felt so awful. But what I would do was I'd put on Abraham Hicks or Neville on, I, on YouTube and I would just shut my eyes and I would listen. That and was back after, when you'd go to the beach too, right? Wasn't that yeah, then? Yeah. 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 So it was like, I can, I don't have the energy to pull myself out of this hole, yeah. but I have got ears that will listen. And what would happen is I remember listening to Esther at the time and Neville and it would slowly winch me out of the hole without me having to do anything. Then once I was at about a five or a six out of 10, then I could imagine and do my own work. Right. So I made it easy for myself in the beginning, get them to do the work for you and remind you of what you've totally forgotten. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Is this where we sing hallelujah? I think this is. I think this is where the <laughs> lights get really bright and the angels, oh, right? You got that going on? Yeah, it's done. And, uh, right? Just, and little babies come out. And yeah, no, the little puppies, they walk in. That's, we'll bring all the yeah. graphics in when we get done through production, <laughs> of course. Oh, this was a good one. I, I, uh, I think we yes. pulled off a, another really good show. Um, <sighs> I, I think um, definitely some future stuff can come out of this for sure. Yeah. There's, I think uh, this is what I think people are really needing right now, Dan, from you, from me, and from people that do LOA. A hug. Giving. <laughs> that too. Yeah. Is the mechanics of A to B, B to C, C to D. Yeah. When I'm w w moving through my day, how do yeah. you do it? Yeah. So it's showing people and using examples of how you do it. And this is what makes it easy because there's so much LOA stuff. There's so much Neville stuff. There's so much Abraham Hicks, the secret and on and on it goes. It's trying to squeeze it all into one little thing. What do I do right. today right. to help me with this? Well, not just that too, but think people are an array of, of aspects in their life. Some are in far more negative, needy, and yeah. some are in barely doubt, but just want a little sort of, you know, ooh, rah, yes. you can do this. And yeah. so again, yeah, you're right. It's the trying to help with these, I, I call it techniques <laughs> oftentimes because there's a lot of different little techniques you can try depending on where you're at. And yeah. you know, I'll be honest, there's been times where I've been so frustrated, like the idea of completely letting go. I've brought up this a lot of times. Yeah. Actually helped get me back to a good place because I just <sighs> gave up. I like, yeah, it's just a chance to just like, all right, let's just let the dust settle and see how yeah. I feel in a week. You're like, this, this is ridiculous, right? Like yeah. you can always change your mind. I never yeah. ever did any damage to myself. So Again, yeah. there's techniques. And I think a yeah. lot of it is trying to, like you said, get through the day. Cause that's where the hard part is. The easy parts like going to bed at night and imagining being with them. I'm like, that's yeah. just awesome. Yeah. It's, it's the, the rest, of, rest the of the day. Yeah. 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 And letting ourselves spin down a bad path or like you mm. were doing like, Oh, it'd be so great to go to this cafe or oh, I'd love to have, you know, come down here and maybe feed the ducks or something. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah. So whatever, whatever floats people's boats. If exactly. You will. Exactly. And, you know, from having coached people from all over the world, this is the thing that fascinates me. It doesn't matter if someone's in Saudi Arabia, in Iceland, in Australia, in the US, in England, or in France, people want to just sit on the couch with their specific person and watch a yeah, movie. Yeah. They don't want, you know, it doesn't need to be huge. It's ordinary moments. They want to just feel secure and loved in an ordinary day. That's it's, all. And, that, and that's where we spend most of our days. I mean, and I'll, that's I'll say where that, we spend most yeah. of our days. I mean, yeah, those are the, those are the things mm. I typically imagine are the day to days or the, you know, the, yeah. the, the fun and little that's, moments. I think Dan, the thing that really helped me was imagining him, you know, making me a cup of tea in the morning and, you know, yeah. he made me a cup of tea the other day and I thought, Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I've forgotten I even imagined that. Right, but, right. But here he, he didn't even ask me because I was half knocked out still because I'm not a morning person. Right. And he showed it up. Takes you a while to hatch. Of, yeah, I don't hatch easily. Yes. <laughs> I hatch in a deformed state. <laughs> <laughs> but he knows that. Yeah, that's funny. So that cup of tea was like, you know, I didn't say anything, but I thought, hmm, that's interesting. That little tiny, totally ordinary, insignificant thing was something I imagined three years ago as part of my regular nightly routine was him bringing me a cup of tea in the morning. That's so everyday-ish. It's nothing yeah. in flash. No, but it's awesome but it meant at the same something. time. Yeah. It says I'm loved yep. and I think of you. And I was thinking of you. Exactly. That's what it is. Yep. I knew you would like some tea. Yeah. Especially so when you're you first go. waking up. And I know he probably didn't yeah. say a word because you're not allowed. 
I know that. No, I know you don't no. talk to Anya's first two hours. Mm. <laughs> oh no, you. He do tries. Not. He uh, tries. Does he? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because then he can say later, "Don't you remember? I told you that this mm. morning." <laughs> yeah, no. And then you follow up with, "Well, don't you remember? I've told you. Don't, don't talk to me." So I, I don't, it's not. Sorry. It doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't. Uh, yeah. You're gonna have to reiterate. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. From I love from it. eight from seven till nine thirty <laughs> ten has the cloud the, the fog yeah, cloud yeah, over there. Yeah, you like that uh, that peanuts uh, cartoon character uh, the one that had all the dust cloud around him the whole yes, time. Linus. Yeah, yeah. Linus. Yeah, Linus. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Don't talk That's to. That's been onions. one of my nicknames <laughs> over the years. That's it, really how funny. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. funny. Well, well, very good. Another excellent. awesome show, by the way. Thank you. I think we've done it. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Well, we will sign off. Yes, and, um, definitely. And I will uh, thank wait for you behind the scenes. Absolutely. Likewise. And uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully everybody enjoys, uh, enjoys what we were talking about. I think it's hugely <laughs> helpful and it's always awesome to get a little bit of Anya's time for sure. And you too, Dan. I love uh, my time with you. Our it's, shucks, it's, it changes just YouTubing on your own, doesn't it? It sure does. It makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> it does. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you. Lots Alrighty, of love, everybody. Bye, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. Hugs. You good? Oh, she's gone.